if they can overturn Roe versus Wade in the face of a very powerful white feminist movement, if they can do this to the feminist, if they can undermine the feminist, most voters are women. Most Americans are women. And yet and still, they threw out a federally guaranteed right to abortion because they said, according to Justice Clarence Coon Thomas, the framers of the Constitution did not intend for their words to be interpreted as meaning women have a right to terminate unborn life. Unborn human being. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to discuss Roe v. Wade and abortion laws and about these white supremacists, okay? Um, in my personal opinion and what I think. So I actually have an article pulled up. I wanted to read a small section of it to you all and give my personal opinion. In a historic and far-reaching decision, the U.S. Supreme Court officially reversed Roe v. Wade on Friday, declaring that the constitutional right to abortion upheld for nearly a half century no longer exists. Now, we all know that these laws were passed by white supremacists. And I guarantee these white supremacists are white old men sitting up in the courthouse thinking that they have all this power to take control of all women and what they can do with their bodies like who are these white supremacists to believe that i understand they have they're a part of the government they're higher power but if we're thinking realistically this is women's bodies years ago i think in the early 1900s you had women's suffrage it's like women's suffrage all over again like why are we why why are these white supremacist white men trying to take away women's rights i mean i can understand um if you consent to doing sexual activities and you're not protecting yourself with the condom for example and you get knocked up that's your fault but let's think about the other aspects let's say somebody let's say a woman gets raped because of this law she's no longer able to abort a baby that she didn't even want that was forcibly that forcefully happened to her and now she she's traumatized she is forever scarred because of that so you have rape uh what else let's see rape is the main aspect here um i can get both sides consent not protecting yourself but the truth is it's a woman it's her body it's her choice you can't take away a human right why are you why are they taking away human rights like why are why, they stretch it out for this long all these protests all these women all of these women trying to give out valid reasons as to why they should have this law not passed or banned and it's all because what they just don't want women to have a choice is that what it is like like now if a woman has a baby she and she let's say she gets raped she has to have the baby and then look what happens to the man that raped her because she is she not allowed to report them are they not going to get locked up because if this law is passed and she can't abort the baby but she reports that she got raped by this person there, there really are no repercussions or he's really not going to get a penalty because he got what he wanted he got what he wanted so This is, it's like they're trying to just beat women down or something. It's like they don't want women to be empowered with their own bodies. And that's something that women have been trying to do for years now. This is ridiculous. Okay, here's another portion that I'd like to read. In fact, though that 1992 opinion went on to, dis to dismiss that very argument as unrealistic because it refuses to face the fact that for decades people have organized intimate relationships and made choices and reliance on the availability of abortion and the event that contraception should fail 
not exactly the concession that Alito described. This is basically saying that people consent to doing physical activities, but condoms and birth control aren't completely, they don't completely do what they need to do to protect from getting knocked up with the child. Another thing, as soon as, as soon as the male and female get intimate and she comes out to be pregnant, she reads the pregnancy test and it says positive, and she decides to abort the baby, it's not like the baby is a full-blown child. It's still not even a fetus yet, just a, just a seed. A little swimmer and then they're saying that they're killing full-blown babies that's not true come on now let's be real here these men just want to have power over women because they don't want women to stand up have rights for themselves they just want women to be controlled by men once again like I said women's suffrage this is this is what our society and the US has came to And I can honestly say, I am not proud of my country. This actually, this isn't even my country. I'm not from the US. I'm not claiming that anymore. And us as black folks, when we say we love our country, do we mean Nigeria? Do we mean Liberia? Do we mean Ghana, Kenya? Why are we accepting the United States and all these things that's going on and all the things that's happening to black folks. Come on, let's let's be realistic. I really want us as a black community to come together. Like I'm tired of this. It's it's really it, it, it's depressing, honestly. Like I I'm not saying that I don't want to be a black or Caribbean girl. It's just we have to work harder now. We have to go harder at protecting our people. And it's hard to do that if you don't have many people trying to support that. For example, Dr. Umar, he's trying to build FDMG School for Boys, Frederick, du Frederick Douglass, Marcus Garvey, and he keeps getting hate and backlash for it, like, especially from his people, from our people. I don't understand why you guys don't want to, not you guys, I don't understand why us as a community and a society don't want to see our black community come up why are we trying to subside and be coons to other races like the white you know what i'm saying come on man but as far as i'm concerned that's it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed this message that i gave out women stand up for yourselves i know that this law was passed but that doesn't mean that every right is taken from you turn this into a positive learning experience honestly and hopefully later on down the line this will be lifted and no longer discussed all right stay prepared i mean <laughs> thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one